Okay, so hopefully we have sound. I hope we have sound. But it is Sunday morning. It is 2 a.m. Sunday morning, which means it is time to crack some packs. This week we have six Dominaria packs and six Core 19 packs. And uh, let's get started with our first pack of Dominaria. So, we have wild card, we have lag, all right, we have short sword, oh, plus one, 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 equip, I like equip, cheap equip, all right, then we have vicious off offering, two mana instant with a kicker or sacrifice a creature, target creature gets minus two, minus two until it turn, but if we kick the spell, it gets minus five and minus five, all right. Uh, favorite strike. We've got plenty of those. Fire elemental. Hey, another icy manipulator. I'm glad to see that artifact deck. Here we come. And a an uncommon vanilla. A yargle. Hmm. Okay. What's our rare? Lyra the Dawnbringer, okay. I can get down with that. Angel deck. All right, before we continue, let's go into here. We need some audio. There we go. Now we got a little bit of ambience noise. There we go, now I feel like we're cracking packs. All right, so we have another short sword. Again, gotta like those ch gotta like those cheap artifact clip cards. All right, uh, we have a deep freeze. Yeah, we've had a couple of those before. All right. Uh, let's see, Volden Arcanist. Hey, there you go. Dredge Skeleton. I'm getting so close to that skeleton deck. All right, Knights Benalia. And our uncommons are going to be a Merfolk Soldier, so a Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. Oh, that's not too bad. We can flash it. It's a 5 for a 3-3, three, three, but with flash, that could be worth it. And then, of course, we have when Sentinel of the Pearl Trident enters the battlefield, you may exile target historic permanent. You control. If you do, okay, so then it adds, all right, so it adds phasing. Ah, I like that. Um, land, Memorial of Glory. Okay, this is new for us. Legendary Creature, Elf Druid, uh, Marin the Nurturer. Three mana for a 1-1. One, one. Whenever another elf enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Like that. And it's a mana dork. What's not to love? Mono green elves, anybody? All right. All right, so we got a golem. Six mana for a five, five, a trample. Not hating it. Power stones. And power, power stones can be monstrous in, in an artifact deck. Adding ma one mana for every art. Yeah, that's just nuts. That's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs right there. All right, then we have our Primal Worm, Artificial Assistant, which is pretty cool because, you know, it, uh, whenever we cast a Historic spell, we get to Scry, and it's one mana for a 1-1 one -one with flying. It's really an awesome deal. All right, then we have Blessing of Light, Exiling Creatures for five, Oh, I'm sorry, Exile Creature or Enchantment, as I sneeze into the microphone. Sorry, headphone wearers. Uh, Elf Helm Druid, nothing too special there. Then we have... Oh, we have Paragon. Alright. First Strike, Vigilance, Lifelink, 3 mana for 2-2, two, two, and Aura and Equip Spells cost 1 less to cast. Gotta like that. 
Let's see here. So, Legendary Sorcery, Primeval Gloria Rebirth. Return all Legendary Permanent cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Hello, Commander, if that was a format we could play here. Broken Bond, destroy a target artifact or enchantment. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. I like that. Let's just destroy something they have and play an extra land. Lawn of War Envoy. Always love our mana dorks. That's some mana fixing right there. Alright, we have Stronghold Confessor. That's a new one for us. One mana for a 1 1. It has a kicker of 3. Comes with Menace. And if we kick it, we get two plus one plus one counters. Uh, so it could be a it could be a three three with menace. All right. Hey, another power stone. Uh, another Merfolk Wizard deck card, and another vanilla. Here we go, dragon. Daragaz Reincarnated, Legendary Dragon, Flying Trample, Haste, 7 mana, 3 color, woo! But if we get to here, if he would die, instead he gets exiled with 3 counters on him. At the beginning of our upkeep, we take, is exiled with an egg counter on it, we remove an egg counter from it. When he has no counters, he's returned to the battlefield, so if he dies 3 turns later, you can get him back. Yeah, gotta like that. Alright, another Wanderer. Alright, this is pretty cool because it gets a 1-1 uh, one, one counter until end of turn whenever we uh, play it in a uh, an artifact or a legendary. Minus. Target player reveals their hand. You choose an artifact or creature card from it. That player discards that card. A little hand hate. Academy Journeyman. Alright. Journey Mage. Five. Academy Journey Mage. I don't know why I'm having trouble talking. Maybe because it's two in the morning. Alright. Blue Wizard. Five mana for a three two. This spell costs one less if you control a wizard. Eh, there we go. Enters the battlefield, return target creature and opponent controls to its hand. Alright. Then we have Triumph Gerard. Gerard. Two mana, put a... Hey, there we go. Not a bad saga. Not a bad saga. Alright, then we have Wizard's Retort. Counter target spell. What's not to like about that? Oh! Two Mythics back to back, baby. Same card, but two back to back. There we go. Our last pack of Dominaria. Alright, we've got a Navigator's Compass. One mana. When it enters the battlefield, we gain three life. We can tap it until end of turn. Target land you control becomes a basic land of any choice you want. So basically. It's mana fixing plus three life. Tragic Poet. One one creature for one mana. Sacrifice it. Return enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. Hey, here we go. Corrosive Ooze. Hey, Ooze cards. I remember back in the day Ooze decks were popular. That's going way back. The 90s. That long ago time. So, two mana for a 2-2. Two, two. Corrosive Oozer blocks or becomes blocked by an equipped creature. Destroy all equipment attached to that creature at the end of combat. I like it. That's some Voltron hate right there. Alright, then we have a Keldon Overseer. Three mana for a 3-1 with haste, but he does have a 4 kicker. Enters the battlefield. If it was kicked, gain control of target creature until end of turn. On tap it, give it haste. Hey, there we go. Uh, Vanilla Worm. We have Skizik. 
Skizik's not that bad. I mean, he's got a one kicker, but he's not that bad. All right. Then we have Legendary Creature, Human Rogue, Fugitive. Creature you, creatures you control with power of one toughness or less can't be blocked. Hello, token deck. All right, and our last... Oh, we got some land going on. All right. Cabal Stronghold. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so Dominaria did us right. Now let's check out what's Core 19 giving us. All right, another Shock. Don't need any more of those. Plummet. We don't need any more of those. Uh, we really didn't need another Rustwing Falcon, but that's okay. Giant Spider. Hey, skeletons. We like skeletons. Okay. Well, this has been kind of lackluster. Let's see what we got here. We like this. Six mana, three, three. Legendary Human Knight. Enters the battlefield. We get a uh, one, one creature, soldier token. For each non-creature, non-token creature we control. There you go. So that can... That'll bump up your play right there. And we can sacrifice this card. Creatures we control power less than this card become indestructible till end of turn. You know what? Nothing wrong with that. There we go. Anticipate. All right, look at the top three cards of our library. Put them back in... Put them into our hand and the rest on the bottom of the library. And not a problem right there. Invoke Divination. Ah. Another shock. Strangling Spores. Oh, here we go. Sovereign's Bite. That's actually a fun card. Two mana. We deal three damage. Gain three life. I like that. I mean, that's almost better than shock. One would argue. Except that it has to target a player. Lightning Mare. Yeah, getting around to building that horse deck, maybe. I like the fact that it can't be countered. A creature that can't be countered for two mana. What's not to like? Then you throw in the fact that it's got some blue hate on it. Now, uh, then again, it's not true blue hate. It can't be blocked by blue creatures. But back in the old, I liked it better when they had protection from blue, so they just couldn't be messed with blue at all. Alright. Wait, did it have fire? Oh, it does have a little bit, it has kind of like fire breathing. Alright. Poison Tip Archer. Hey, reach with Death Touch. Throw some first strike and you got yourself a little, you get yourself quite the defender. Alright, whenever another creature dies, each opponent loses one life. Why not? Escape shift. We can sacrifice any number of lands, search our library for up to that many, put them onto the battlefield tapped. This right here, that's gold for deck fixing. Gold. Here we go. Alright, we have disperse. Another Chaplain, Strangle Spore, a Daggerback Basilisk, three mana for a 2 2 with Death Touch, nothing to be ashamed of. Then we have a Manolith. Sadly, we've had like nine of these. Alright. Aerial Engineer, I guess. I do like those. Reliquary Towers are handy. Especially if you have the ability to draw a bunch of cards. Alright, then we have a Mist Caller. Alright. Alright, so we got Mind Rot, making our players discard cards. Good for that blue-black mill deck. Mighty Leap, 
Given our creatures plus two, plus two, until, plus flying until end of turn for two mana. Highland Game Elk. It's a two, one for two, but you gain two life when it dies. Cobb Waltz. I want to love this card, but I can't stand the way they did her face. All right, return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand, then discard a card for two mana. That's power. All right, then we have Viroshino Pyromancer, dealing two damage to a uh, target player or player when it comes out. Then we have a double cast. Then, we, of course, we have a Horizon Scholar. Hey, we have a Mythic Rare Wild card. There we go. All right, last pack of the day. Big money. Act of Treason, not bad. Divination, not bad. Knight's Pledge, okay. That's another Strangle Spore. Havoc Devils. All right, so our commons are sort of okay. Arcane Encyclopedia, I like that. And Skyrider Patrol, that's so-so. All right, so we did get an Elder Dragon, which is awesome. Sadly, we already had him. Cool to have him, in, I guess, nonetheless. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That is all the packs we're cracking for the week. We will see you next week when we crack some more packs.